I just learned that it doesn't matter what time you wake up, but the first thing you eat matters a lot to how the rest of your day goes. So I'm starting every day eating something good. Hi, Kaya. Wow. <laughs> Today I wanted to make a video and talk about something that honestly I think a lot of people are struggling with and I think the pandemic brought it on. Now I don't know about you but during the pandemic I basically lost my job. Um, I had recently moved provinces and I basically wasn't able to get work for quite a few months because of the pandemic. Um, so I had been hired at WestJet to do customer service and I was so excited because I was going to, you know, be able to work for an airline and do all these fun things, but it didn't work out as planned, of course. If you're breastfeeding, oatmeal in the morning keeps up your supply. I add a couple of berries in the two back to what I was saying. Basically, COVID got a lot of people into this place where you're like, what am I going to do with my life now? Like, do I go back to what I was doing? Do, like the meaning of life kind of changed for a lot of people. And I'm sure it did for you too. I, in some way or another, it life's changed over the last two years. And I think a lot of people right now are struggling to find their purpose in life. And I think that I can bring a little bit of clarity because I've been on this kind of like purpose searching journey as well, alongside um, probably millions of people out there, if not more. But basically, I want you to think for a minute about something. Your purpose has nothing to do with your career. Just take a moment and sit with that information, okay? Because we spend our whole lives building our identity and our purpose around what we do. Not what we spend our free time doing, our hobbies, the things that make us like, that fuel us, and you know, the thing that our job supplements but we go straight to the job, to straight to the career, which is great. If your career is something you're passionate about, that's important. But it's also important to know that you are a whole person outside of that job too. It took me becoming a mother to realize that my purpose doesn't have to be in my career. My career can be something that's fulfilling, that I love, that gets me out of bed every single day, but it does not have to be my purpose in life. And your purpose doesn't have to be one thing either. You can have many purposes and your purpose can shift and mold as you grow as a person, you know? Like my purpose before was honestly just to survive. And then my life changed. And now I have this amazing life and now my purpose in life is to provide for my daughter. And my purpose is to be a good mother. And my purpose in life is to raise a child that is conscious in this, in this earth and in this universe that can bring awareness, that can bring change into the world with kindness and love and compassion through parenting. Like our purpose changes in life and that's okay. So don't get wrapped up in like, sitting with it and being like, what is my purpose? Like something tell me, give me a sign or whatever it may be. Just take a step back and look around you at your life and see the things in your life that drive you. Why is it that you want that fulfilling career? What is that fulfilling career gonna get you? You start to find your purpose another way. Society puts in our head that we need to have everything figured out. You don't need to have anything figured out. The future, when you have it figured out, that's non-existent in the sense that you only have this moment. The future is, is, another, is another threshold, it's another timeline. If you put energy 
too much energy into focusing on that, you are going to lose the present moment, which means that in the future, you're going to look back in the past and right now will have been wasted time. And you will keep doing this over and over and over again. If you keep saying like, I'll be happy when my purpose is fulfilled, I'll be happy when I have the career of my dreams, I'll be happy when I'm making this much amount of money, you will never actually get there because you are so focused on the wanting that you're not taking the moment to appreciate what you do have, that you're always gonna live in this mindset that you don't have enough. You need to appreciate what you have in order to open yourself up to receive more. I hope that makes sense. These are just like random 5 a.m. thoughts for you. Actually, it's more like 3 a.m. thoughts that I'm spewing out of five. Okay. Whew, that felt like a rant. All right, I'm going to eat my oatmeal. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. Eat my oatmeal, hang out with Kaya. Sorry, I didn't realize my face wasn't in it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little spiel. Anyways, bye.